You love pointing out my insecurities. I love pointing out your mustache. That's a difference. <laughs> Because I How think those love handles. Better. Don't you say a thing about his love handles. You can shave your mustache. He can't shave the fat on his body, okay? What's up, guys? And welcome to episode 107 of Dropouts. And you might look at me and say, Zach, you're mobile right now. That's because Indy's late again. And she's at her apartment sleeping. So we're going to drive over there and wake her up mid-show. Follow me. So we're currently in her elevator. She just called me and said, oh, I'm so sorry. I fell asleep. I, I. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to wait outside of her door so that when she comes out to go to the podcast, we're going to be right there. Hopefully get a quick jump scare. She's going to yell at us, and then we're going to interview her. Follow me. This is fun. We should go mobile more often. So we are currently outside of her door, but she just called and said, I was like, what, what time are you coming over? Because I thought she was about to come out right now. But turns out she's like, I'll be over in like 20 minutes. I'll leave in like 20 minutes. So we're trying to decide, do we go in, scare her? But then it could be like a home invasion thing and then she could maybe knife us. Not ideal. Or we wait here for 20 minutes and try to get the jump scare. What do you think, Jared? We're going to wait for 20 minutes? <sighs> we're okay. You know what's not fun? waiting for things i've realized i've, I've realized i'm impatient um but i'm pretty excited about the whole scaring situation because for whatever reason her fear is going to bring me joy um i'm not sure why i think that's something kind of messed up in my brain jared doesn't have a mic so it's currently just me right now um would you consider this stalking jared yeah this is definitely stalking it feels good i kind of want to stalk some more because i have like a list of people that I never, like, you know those documentaries on Netflix where some weird people do some weird things to some other people? I get what they're talking about now. 20 minutes? I gotta be out here. As I'm sitting outside of this door, it just makes me think of the time my ex kind of slammed the door in my face. and That's the last time we ever talked. She's married now, which is fine. I find in the moments of silence is when I, I think the most about um, my tragic past. And maybe that's why I kind of, I talk so much because I try to fill a void if I don't talk so much um is that her if i don't talk so much um the darkness will kind of capture my soul and um i'm worried that if i don't take action soon that i'm going to be uh drowning in um the black so can't wait for indy though this will be sick when she comes because we'll scare her or whatever but um update it has been 30 minutes and she said she'll be done in another 10 so that's fun for us. I love that she always keeps her word. That's the best thing about Indiana. It's like if she says 20 minutes, she'll be there in 20, well, she'll be there in double the time usually. So, all right, let's wait some more. Indiana. Ah! Stop, that's so scary. Don't do that. We were just wondering why you were late to the podcast. Don't, I hate you both so much. Oh my goodness. Hey, handsome. My name's on the screen. They were. Dude, you just, you just, just disturbed all the neighbors. Um, you scare me, you oh yeah, you're only three hours late, but that's our fault. Think you want to say? Are you guys here? We waited an hour. I fell asleep. Do you think you deserve this? Um, I don't think anyone deserves to be startled like that. Well, you do. What do you got to say, handsome? I had a similar reaction. We waited out here for an hour. Well, we should go film this podcast, guys. Like, why are you? We went from jovial to just being annoyed, didn't we, Jared? This is hilarious that we have an on-the-go podcast. Is it? Because we're just frustrated. We've been sitting out there for so long, and then you just scared all the neighbors. You scared me. So actually... I, honestly, I wish I would have scared you more after all that. In term, actually, you guys scared the neighbors, but um, should we just like start the podcast here? What's up, viewers? Welcome back to episode... Well, that was really rude. Well, guess what? We're back in studio with someone who doesn't value us. What's up? Huh? With someone who doesn't value us. What's up? I don't believe that's true. Oh, you don't believe that. So how many times have you been late? Has it been every single time for the podcast? Or? I wouldn't say every single time. A majority, but I wouldn't say every single time because there are definitely some times where I am on time. Remember she came in like cheering and screaming that she made it in on time? Though? I think that was the one time. No, it's been a few times that I've done that. Okay, well, we filmed, this is 107, so a few times. <laughs> Um, yeah. I mean this in the nicest way. You are the personification of the liquid that comes out of ketchup that no one likes. Okay. Oh, fuck. That was brutal. Oh, was it? Because you look like the poster boy for a hate crime. <laughs> Why? I just. Oh, I mean, Jared. <laughs> oh, Jared's gone. Oh, I, I found something cool. Watch this. Jarvis. Combat mode. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're right, man. That was combative. Jarvis. 
open mask. It's embarrassing. Is it tough being Iron Man now? That yeah, Robert, it's hard. You've kind of taken over. Believe from it or not, you take a lot of hits, like in like to the body through that suit. Yeah, like, people don't understand. You're like, just bruised up. Yeah, dude. Look like an apple that a granny let fall out of her cart. Good metaphor. Do you think your middle school self is just freaking out right now that you own you own an Iron Man mask that dude, my, is automated? My 24-year-old self is freaking out that I own an Iron Man, Iron Man mask. Do you think that's helping your cause of it looks like you still get bullied by middle school boys. Do you think you would if you kind of walked by? I nice mean, mask, I'm not, man. I'm not going to wear disagree. this out in public. That I think mask you is very popular on TikTok, so I think people would be like, oh, shit, that's too much. That's the thing. You're maybe not like a big uh, minority of people, but there's a lot of there's a big majority of people that do enjoy Marvel movies that if they saw this mask on the street, they'd be like, that's freaking awesome. I got you. So you would you wear probably, that on the street? You want to go no, to a local I would not middle school and hang out? What is it? Do I hear that correctly? You want to go to a local middle school and hang out? No, I said and I impress would the not girls. Wear this out. Hey, at least you have your Halloween costume. Just the helmet. Casual. What <laughs> What if you were a little bit of each Marvel character? Oh, that cool. could be interesting. Like Spider Man, you've got the hammer. You've got like a bow and arrow over you. I could get like one of those uh, plush Hulk fists. Um, that's all I'm saying, man. Oh, but it has, it's the one with the drink like koozie in it. Yeah, so, so you can have alcohol and you can throw up in my truck again. That's a great plan. All right. How lit do we you think? We have to bring up the truck again. Speaking of bullying, did you have your bully tech? Yes. Middle school. I was five feet tall, 75 pounds. The jokes write themselves. I want to say this to my former weight training coach. Hey man, it's not good for your social status if you put the weakest boy to work out with the girls. I'm all for equality, but you know who's not? Middle school boys who see you working out with girls and you're the weakest one because you can't even bench the bar. That is so funny. The worst thing that was ever said to me, I used to take off my shirt and I was a very, very skinny boy in middle school. And some of the older boys would look at me and they said, I look like a Holocaust victim <gasps> in the locker room. Jesus Christ. It was that bad. I remember it to this day. It's the worst burn I've ever gotten. That's terrible. It's so wrong on so many levels and they didn't care. You know, there was no... There's no local Twitter at the time. People weren't going to hashtag them for saying something so I mean, obscene. They're Southern middle school boys. I think they got other problems. They had a dip in their mouth and they pointed at me and said, you look like um, a Holocaust victim. And that was probably one of the worst, Just you know, scorched experiences into your in my brain. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would have hurt. A little bit of body dysmorphia for the rest of my life because of that, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, you know? no. It's just it's slightly not. and fully hurtful, so. I don't think people realize that like if you were excessively skinny, like as a younger, like it, it's on both spectrums. Like I once had a teacher come up to me and be like, are you eating? You look really, really like sickly skinny. Like asked me if I had anorexia and I was like, Jesus Christ, not the way to go about that. And it was just such a like, I was walking in the lunch hall, just ch ch and she was like, are you okay? Cause you're really, really skinny. And I was like, you fucking bitch. Like, what if I did have a problem? Well, here's, okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate on the side of the teacher, right? It is the responsibility of the teachers and to shame whatever. students. No, right? not to no? shame All students, right. but to watch for their well-being. And so how else do you figure out if there is a problem without asking? All she'd have to do was just maybe wait 15 more minutes and watch me order at the taco truck. Okay. Your school First of all, had a taco, taco truck? truck? Okay, so our school was <laughs> How's how's it on top of Mountain Privilege? Is it is it pretty nice? <laughs> uh, actually, it's the opposite. So our school was so small that um they How's it the opposite of privilege? Listen. Okay. Our school Did you have to pay to go to the school? Shush. Did you? Yes. Okay, then Our school <laughs> well. was so small that they didn't feel the need or want to get a cafeteria so we didn't like have any school lunches or, or anything but obviously it's like you still have to provide um and so they just got the local taco truck to come to our school at one o'clock terrible <laughs> for, absolutely terrible for you but man was it good but oh. honestly i feel like the taco at truck what would point, have wait like real more real food than whatever they serve yeah, i guess maybe at what wait, at what point were you gonna diffuse what i said about privilege you're like no no listen to this i don't think that's privileged you got catered at school <laughs> so did you what you had school lunches it's the same thing it's not like i'm getting catered it's not like they're like setting out catering. have you like ever you had a public school lunch yes when 
What do you mean when? I went to school here. Not public. Yes, I did. Brighton? No, I went to a school before that. Where? I'm not saying. Why? 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 You're not not there anymore. I know, but that's weird. Like, I don't like. What, you think they're gonna gonna take some more classes? No, I don't know. I just don't like, that's weird to like talk about other schools and stuff. But regardless, they had school, they had like. What? They had like schools. I went to Brantley County High School. Um, I went to Wana Hills (laughs) High School. I went to Kilgore (laughs) Elementary. I went to Berkeley Bunker Elementary in Las Vegas. Regardless. I had school lunches there and they were terrible. Berkeley Bunker? Don't worry about that. Why does it sound like they were just huddling you in the basement of the school? First of all, we did have a few bomb scares and I hate that you bring it up. Um, Do you guys ever have like a school shooting scare? No, No. but we did have one time we went on lockdown because there is a guy that robbed the the corner store that I got mugged at with a (laughs) machete. Nice. And he was going on a tear through the neighborhood and the police couldn't catch him. So we had to go on lockdown. We had to go on lockdown for a school shooting. There was a guy outside of our school with a gun. Why are we laughing All about right. this? Well, that's you guys are really being The machete right one now. was funny. Oh, yeah. That's that's serious. I don't believe you've ever had school lunch. 100% public school lunch. I've had school lunch. How long did you go to public school for? About two months. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the my entire life where I would eat that meal every single day because I couldn't afford to bring my own food. Thanks a lot, Indy, for putting me down. Were you on the meal plan because your mom was a teacher there? Does that is that how that works? Well, not for everybody I know, but well, for certain people. For our school was so poor that I think our entire school got a grant for all food being covered for everyone. That adds up. At least top ten poor school in Georgia. Maybe top five. Maybe top three. I mean, you are in the town that has one stoplight in the county. So. Okay. Jared, just because we're the meth capital of the world, that's our main export. Are you really? Uh, sorry, meth capital of Georgia. Sorry. Of the and world. I was like, that's a big. Honestly, it could be the your world. Your economy would be thriving. I, know that's that's thriving. I think our economy was thriving. It's just we couldn't put it on the books. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that, that makes sense. You know, it was all underground stuff. We had hardworking people, a lot of explosions um, <laughs> in local trailers, but it's fine. I had a few of those too. I mean, sometimes, really? you, sometimes yeah. you lose a cousin on a weekend because <laughs> they were cooking meth the wrong way. It happens. It's part of the biz. Breaking bad gone wrong. The amount of kids that would date each other and then find out later that they were cousins. Are you for real? Was astonishing. You're for real. It happened at least once, twice a month. Oh my And 50% God. of them would be like, well, we statistically looked it up and based on the percentages, our kids probably would be decently normal. So they would continue to date and- Ew and get physical, as the kids say. Ew. Oh, that's disgusting. That's but, disgusting. But, you know, like I said about Olive Garden, when you're here, your family, that's what, how it felt in the South, so. <laughs> and Speaking- honestly, dating dating your family is the best because you already know everything about them. That awkward- You already know are their friends and family? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Um, we already go to the same Thanksgiving, so it's like now we don't have to travel. It's here's perfect. The, here's the thing. It is weird, and it is disgusting Did to you think to date about. you your cousin? No. Um, you look like somebody. But you do look like you'd accidentally date your cousin. It is. No, you look like somebody who two cousins would produce. It, fuck off. Oh. It is legal to marry your first, second, and third cousins in Georgia. No. Yeah. Don't tell the people that. <laughs> I, they will I, riot. I looked it up, and it, it says uh, it's marriage between second cousins is legal in Georgia. Other cousin relationships, such as first and third cousins, are also allowed to marry in the state. Are they allowed to reproduce? Yeah. I mean- there's no laws against that. That's terrible. So that can cause so many birth defects. It was so funny because I moved there from Vegas, a town of like two million people to a town of, you know, a thousand. And the funniest part was I went to a family reunion outside of Georgia. And I used to always joke like everybody's cousins there. Everybody knows each other, blah, blah, blah. And then one of my family members came up to me. He's like, wait, where are you from? I was like, oh, Brantley County. They're like, oh, you got a cousin down there. I was like, no way. What the hell? And I think she hit on me once. Birth defects it, from first cousins marrying and producing kids is not as high as you think it what is. What is it? It's only four to 7%. That's the statistics they used to yell around the school. Do you, and then for people that are like distantly, you know, yeah. whatever, it's three to 4%. Exactly. That's a hill I'll die on. Park it in here, Bethany. Speaking of uh, parking it in places, I said that I would sleep with Jared for $325,000. 
and I'm starting a GoFundMe. <laughs> so if uh, if you guys would like to donate, that would be much appreciated. I love, just so I you're love, aware, it started at 50K. Ooh, I'm expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Jared- well, I get paid that much to sleep with you. Yeah, you just get the sex, Jared. Yeah, I'm expensive. <laughs> <laughs> would you have sex with Indian? I'm trying free? to find a silver lining from this insult, okay? Thank you very much. Nice. Would you have sex with her for free? No, not after. I have to be, <laughs> not after yeah. I have to be attracted to someone's personality. And after waiting 45 <laughs> minutes today, that's not happening. Well, actually, it was three hours. It's not three hours. <laughs> yeah, because you're supposed to be here at seven. I fell asleep. Okay, so how was it not three hours? If you fell asleep- That doesn't count. And we're late to your job, is that still your fault or no? Mm -mm. Could you imagine her at a nine to five? <laughs> oh, what happened? I do, I no, do no. more than a nine to five. I do a five to seven. That, that could be taken as like you do two hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I do like, a 5 a.m. 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. Thank you. Wait till that it. too. Um, she's like, gotta go work at Chili's. <laughs> what happened? I fell asleep. Okay, what, is that your excuse? Uh, okay. You're well, not even you're gonna, gonna try be, to make a real excuse? You're gonna like, be fired. I was unconscious, my body was, I, dreaming. I mean, that's rude, I was sleeping. It's like, it's, you, rude, it's rude to the employer. Like it's a genuine excuse. I, was, I fell asleep. Have you seen that video yeah. um, or that TikTok of the cop Privilege that's back. that's dealing with uh, the kid that was like filming in the AMC, and he was like, he's like, what were you guys doing in there? He's like, illegally filming, and the cop just like drops his jaw. He goes, you mean legally filming? And the kid's <laughs> like, no, illegally. <laughs> and he's like, you mean legally? He's like, no, I L L E. <laughs> and he's like, that means you're not allowed to do it. He's like, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Like he's trying to give him every chance. Like the kid's obviously messing with him, but like the cops responded to like a real call to, from the AMC to get them banned from all AMCs across <laughs> across the US. I was banned from an AMC for a while. For AMC. What would you do? Just talk about it. And also, where'd you go to high school? <laughs> it's um, so weird that you won't tell us. I had a little bit too much. Had a little bit too much to drink at the AMC. Why were you drinking at an AMC? I don't know, because we thought it would be funny to go watch a movie drunk. Oh, uh, yeah. How old were you? Like 16 or 17. But look, I did some stupid shit. Like, kids do dumb So, shit wait, like why'd you get kicked out? So, you drank and then what? Yeah, like, You're, how'd they find out? Has Have you ever seen me drunk? No. I'm not the most subtle human being. So, were you just screaming? No, we were just, like, definitely, like, stumbling and just, like, not screaming, but, like, being obnoxious. No one else was in the movie, luckily. Like, we went to, like, a really late session of a really shitty movie, and, like, we did that on purpose because we're, like, okay, if we're going to go get drunk in a movie theater, we don't want to disturb anyone. At least like, you're polite about it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, right? We were the only ones in the theater, but, like, obviously. Still a problem to have Still a problem. Do you, look yeah. back, do you look back and be like, man, that was cool. Like, that was so sick. No, I don't look at back. I don't look back at it, and I'm like, that was so cool. But I also don't look back at it and go, oh, my God, like. I regret that. Like, it's a funny story. Uh, I was having fun in the time. Like, big Jerry, deal. Hmm. why didn't you laugh? Because I, huh? I was listening to this. It's a funny story, Jared. Oh my God. You disrespectful piece of crap. Like, you there's a lot of things. Either. There's a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, I have a laughing I, deficiency. Sorry there's a lot that. of things that I look back on that I did at like that age. And it's not that I necessarily regret them. I wouldn't do them now. And I would, I would regret it if I did it now. But I look back on it and I go, you were young and you had a good time then, you know? That's just called growing up. <laughs> <laughs> you just described the plot of- Of, of just life. Of life. <laughs> oh, about. Indy's period's here. Oh, oh, she's leaking. Actually. Oh, Indy. Oh, good yes, thing the, I love a period podcast. Good thing the couches are red. <laughs> good thing the couches are red. Her outfit's white, so we'll see. All if, white. Dude, if she leaks when we come back, that's a demerit. <laughs> just got to go in timeout. Just the rules here at Podcast Central. Uh, red Rover, Red Rover. I didn't get my period. What was it? A little discharge? What was that? Deadpool. Oh, okay. <laughs> she took the Browns to the Super Bowl. Ew. I've never what? heard that before. You had to run there? Like how it just no. hits you. What like do you that? have? No, Taco I just, Bell? No, I just had like a really bad like cramp and I was like, ooh. And I thought I had a I thought I was getting my period. That's why I ran, because I'm in a white dress. That kind of sucks. Because we were taking bets on what? Um Tamp on you use. I was going ultra. Jared went super. It's always super. Hell yeah. That's hot. Bring me my money. Ultras I don't like because they're going in, but they do this thing that they like flower out instead of, I don't know. They're not my favorite. But I'm actually switching to the diva cup. Why? I feel like that's messy, you know? 
not any messier than like a tampon would be. Okay. Can you explain a diva cup to uh, act like you're talking to a three-year-old, a, not five-year-old. No, <laughs> I can't explain that to a five-year-old, but a diva cup is basically a little cup and okay. it has like a little, it's made of silicone and you like fold it in half and you, and then it, unfolds like when it gets up so there. as your uterine wall sheds the cup fills up it's better for the environment it's like not as much waste it's actually better for you because you're not putting any toxic chemicals in your body from the tampon it's like you can't get it's like a lot harder to get toxic shock syndrome if you even can get it from a diva cup you can sleep in them how do you clean your diva cup boil it in hot water okay so if you're using it though like you just, you know, you pour out the blood in the toilet and then you would just rinse it under some hot water and then I just feel like when you I feel like when you pull it out, it's gonna like splatter everywhere. How it's much, gonna look like a crime bl- scene. But how much Dexter. blood do you think we're shedding? It's not that much. Not like weird, a pool. But you Like weird as in women. No, no, no. Women in general, probably not much, but you look like you could I do I do have a heavy flow, cups. but exactly. But that's why you there's like regular and super diva cups. Like there's bigger ones and smaller ones. But like you just, just pull it out and like you're in the how, toilet. How bowl. big are we talking? What the hell? That's lint. Oh my here. god. I thought, <laughs> dude, I thought no, like about that big. Thing. What the <laughs> hell? That's, He's like, my wieners have that it size. In half like that, and then fold it in half again. So it's like, maybe like. But it's still. You said it expands inside of you. Yeah, but it's same as a tampon. About I didn't think too. they were fucking thick like that. They get big. Could we watch you insert or whatever, just for educational purposes? Never. Um, but it's like no different. Like it, the cup would fill up, and you just there's like a little tab that you kind of like just to help pull it out and then you just dump it in the toilet. Like it's no different than an actual Have you thought, well, it's easier to save blood for like black magic rituals. <laughs> Cause you could fill it up and then keep it in sure. the f- fridge. Sure. Probably won't coagulate as bad. Good, big word. Big word. It's Maybe word I'll put day. it in a vial for you to, to wear on your neck. Yeah, let's MGK and Megan Fox this. I don't think that's period blood. Do you see, but you see that guy that put his girl's discharge in a vial? We've talked about that before. Nasty. You look like your rapper name would be Discharge. <laughs> yeah. You're not one to be making no, laugh. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Ex- my laugh is terrible. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You see that TikTok wait. dropouts? Hold, hold on. What? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. I have. Okay. We keep getting away from everything that I want to talk about on this podcast, but I want to bring up this TikTok that I saw of what is a hundred percent the worst laugh I have ever witnessed in the history of just me being alive. Oh, poor oh. girl. But she knew it was much bubble. Wait, <laughs> but who's Galvin Glenn? <laughs> See what prize she gets? <laughs> You've won a car! <laughs> Look what you asked, is Calvin Klein? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Please stop it. You're scaring the dog. You're scaring the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That is terrible. I know I've got some terrible laughs, but man. Dude, that, that TikTok went stupid viral, and people were like, tearing her apart <laughs> in the comments. NASCAR t- <laughs> commented. They're like, this is the sound our cars make when they <laughs> try to start them up. Jeez. Oh, God. I mean, when NASCAR is getting after you, you kind of lost. And That's somebody, terrible. Somebody commented. They were like, I would never tell a joke around her. I don't know. I was howling reading these comments. Ah, it sounds like a bad SpongeBob. That's a, Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. I used to laugh like All a 40 right. year old who'd been smoking a pack a day every like. I found cigarettes in Indy's purse. They're not mine. So. I want to talk about it. We can talk about it. Okay, well. They're not mine. Everyone knows I don't smoke. Has anyone ever tried to see me hit the, a cigarette? It's the terrible. amount of disappointment I, I found. I, I'm walking around her beautifully cleaned apartment. Um, if it was opposite day and I just walk by her purse and I see a familiar box that I've noticed um, older people use. My grandma used to smoke and I pick it up and uh, turns out Indy's a smoker, a little dirty smoker girl. Everyone knows how I feel about smoking. So then whose are they? They're not mine. 
Like, that's that's her, a good defense. Yeah, uh, they're not mine. They're not mine, officer. I I'm was holding gonna... them for a friend. Oh, oh, the ones that are in my purse in my apartment where no one else really goes they to. They seriously me. are mine. They're one of you. Also, know how I feel about smoking. With all the mm-hmm. cancer in my family. I mean, that's a good defense. That is a good defense. She knows we can't say much after that. Dude, but. like with all the cancer in my family, I think smoking is terrible because it's just like a given way of like, my biggest thing with smoking is that my grandpa did not have an option for that cancer and you have an option to not give yourself that cancer right now and you're still doing it. He didn't have that same choice. No, so. I feel like if I say anything else, it'll be really... So no, I do not smoke and those are not mine. But do you reckon I could sell them off? Dude, so what are you, do what you, you need gonna six sell? bucks bad? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, how bad oh, do you need a Oh, how tri- much are cigarettes? Um, Honestly, a be pack more, probably, more, but yours are open. How much are cigarettes? Are they're like, pretty expensive. They're oh, like probably seven, eight bucks at the store a or pack? something. Yeah. Wow, I was so off in my head. What did you think? Like I don't know, 40 like 25 bucks. bucks a I don't know how much cigarettes are. Wow, I love I'm just, just going, playing this off right now. What's a cigarette? No, because I'm going based off of like how much vapes are. And I know like some of them are like 25 yeah, bucks a vape. This feels like parents like trying to catch her and then like give her the cigarette. Smoke it if you smoke. And then she like turns it around and like tries to eat it. It's like, is this what you do? <laughs> funny. It's like, we know you're not. Um, um, okay. So anyway, don't smoke any more indie. I don't see um, Thanks. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. Like me, I definitely failed three times in a row. But now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. I chose to learn Spanish because obviously I live in Los Angeles and it is the second most commonly used language here. Babbel's 15 minutes lessons make it the perfect way to learn a language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over a hundred language experts, which I think is just amazing. The teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German, which are all things that I've tried to conquer before in other apps, but have actually had success in with Babbel. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel in addition to lessons you can access, podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you can get an additional three months for free. That is six months for the price of three. Just go to babbel.com and use promo code DROPOUTS. That's B A B. B E L dot com code dropout. That's B A B B E L dot com code dropout. Go get some learning done. While, while we were sitting here, I thought of an experience that happened to me in middle school. Um, there's a Jesse McCartney song. I don't want another pretty face. face. What's the song I called? Want please, please know we're singing. What's the song called? Beautiful. Beautiful soul. For whatever, I cannot sing. I've known my entire life I can't sing. Except for, I thought this was the one song. In middle school, I could nail. Like, I was like, I'm probably better than Jesse McCartney at this. I don't know why I thought that, but I had a crush in my math class. And he didn't want to go David Archuleta with no, that? This, no, no. This is the only song. I thought I was better than Jesse McCartney. Okay. Class bell rang. We're all kind of like walking, about to walk to our next class, putting our backpacks together. I put mine together really fast and then I go walk to her side of the room and I sing kind of near her but like I'm not trying to crouch on her space just like loud enough so she can hear it and and did you think life was like a Disney movie what just in the hopes that she'd be like wow she just turns around and goes was that you singing yeah that's what literally I was like (laughs) because I was like I don't want another pretty face that's not bad that's what I thought and (laughs) and she 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 looks at me and she goes wow I didn't know, I didn't know you sang. And okay, good start. But I think she meant like, oh wow, I didn't know you sang. And that, oh. and but in my head, I was like, she, I thought she said, wow, I didn't know you were the best singer ever. And I, and then I kind of just went, oh, so oh, you heard that? Yeah, I was just sorry, it was just stuck in my head. And I just think of like beautiful songs going around beautiful people. Oh my so. god, you fucking cheese ball. Anyway, she is now married with multiple children so i'm nice. striking out with all the back home girls it's just they get married so early well that's what happens when you are in the south you know that's just the way of life indy why are you on your phone 
Because I just was adding some shit to my highlight and I've had this one particular pink bag with my name on it since I was four years old and I'm now realizing I haven't had it since my move to the my, to my new place and I'm now devastated as to where this bag is because I haven't seen it since I moved into this place. And, and you I, guys just you guys are just on who cares news. Me, because I've had that bag since I was like four years old and my mom and dad gave it to me and if I don't know where that bag is, I'm going to cry. She always, she always is bringing the sentimental stuff. Now I feel bad. Why are you on your phone during the podcast? Dude, we've, we've, we've talked about this, haven't we? Because I hear all the stories that you tell on this podcast. This is wild that you think that's what we're doing. This is an entertainment... Entertainment... Entertainment. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's six times 12? How long is it going to take you to get there? Ooh, we probably shouldn't make fun of people, should we? You're just, you're feeding into this joke. People are going to think we stopped the podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's, if we cut anything, it's because this is tw- no, I'm 10 leaving, minutes. I'm leaving this all in. Okay, good. <laughs> Holy hell. I have no idea. No, my, how did you take all that time? What, what do you, give me a guess. 68. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Listen, Indy. What is six times 11? 72. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just looked it up. Six times 12 is 72. Anyway, speaking of numbers, are you? did you see Elon Musk is trying to get out of his deal to buy Twitter? Really? Hold on. I was about to say something. What were you saying before that? She's talking about the pink bag. No, but why'd she make fun of me? Oh. Because you stumbled. No, but what word did I stumble on? Entertainment. Oh. Oh, this is an entertainment (laughs) podcast. Even if you've heard the story before, we riff. And this isn't for us to just come and talk to you for an hour. We have listeners. We have people we care about. I think she thinks it's like, oh, I've heard this story before. Yeah, sometimes we've heard this story before. Then we add a little bit to the story. We went to a really cool event today. Holy hell. I can't get through to her. Anyway. (laughs) Elon's trying to get out of his <laughs> Twitter deal. Really? Yeah. Cause he's What's up, Twitter world? All right, OJ. It's Uncle OJ. <laughs> anyway. What was the accent you just did? That's what he says. How okay. he says it. He says, just What's thought. up, Twitter world? He's also a father of nine kids now. It just came Elon? out. Elon? Yeah, it just came out. I thought he only had one kid. No, he has nine. He just uh uh, nine. I yeah. would love to be one of those kids. He has a set of twins that just came to light. That with um, g- Grimes? Nope. That uh, he has with one of his top executives at his company, Neuralink. Wow, that can't be good. So he, HR must be. He linked. Pissed. He linked up with Neuralink. He linked. He smashed. Yeah, HR must be pissed about that. I hate y'all. It sounds like they're really mean there. Like yeah. they they hate you. Wow, I would love to be one of those nine kids. Why? You're, you're dead. Well, this is a podcast where we like explain our thoughts in our heads. So that's, I what, think that's all the reason I was I think people can get the asking. gist of like why you'd want to be Elon Musk's kid. He's like one of the richest dudes in the world. I think he is the richest dude in the world. Is he not? I just want to know. Oh, that was when, Jeff Bezos. No, I think he got passed up. I just want to know when we stopped saying dude at. Like, was that 2010? Yeah. They used to be like, oh, dude. And like this dude at. But that was prevalent, you know? Do you do take this dude at to be your lawfully wedded dude? Was you, did you lose the I joke? I was trying to think of like what I would say. Gotcha. Doo-doo. <laughs> I said doo-doo. <laughs> Have you seen the TikTok of the guys? She just said doo-doo into a mic, Jerry, and is losing and her is mind. Losing her, I'm just <laughs> ignoring it. I'm, okay, just, okay. Can you just imagine this? Imagine sitting down with two people um, who pour our heart and soul into this. Three hours late, every single podcast, um, and then sits down and says, I've heard these stories before, and then says doo-doo into the mic, and it's like, oh, content. Did you, did, can, does that frustrate you all, Jared? Why? You seem like you'd be Elon Musk's kid. Why? Very intellectual. I don't know nothing about no Neuralink. You're intellectual in a different way. Like he, like Yeah, more Elon of like a swag is- way, right, Jared? Elon is just, you know, he's rockets and technology no, but like, and stuff like that. It seems like, like that. that could be his offspring. Because remember, it's like mixed in with someone else's. Maybe. Yeah, I guess like the his executive. Can you quiz me on rocket questions? Can you quiz me on any questions? How much fuel do you need for a rocket? A lot. 
Correct. Oh my god. Okay, next. Maybe you should take a paternity how many test. Ast- how many astronauts can be in a rocket at one time? Depends on the number of seats. Next. Correct. How long does it take to launch a rocket into space? Um, at least 10 seconds because I've heard people count down. Next. Correct. How long does it take to go to the moon and back? Um, it depends on how fast you go. Correct. Genius. Oh my God. You should apply to the astronaut program. NASA how do I do that? Or SpaceX. I'm sure they just have like a little mail. they have pamphlet. online op- applications. I would love that. I would apply right you now. You think it'd be offline? I'm sure you can mail in an application to Elon Musk. We know, I know where he... So the how his twins came out is that both. Oh, we're talking about this. No, well, I'm just saying I'm you're like you could you could mail something to Elon. How it came out was that they both listed their residences like on their tax forms at the same address. Oh and it's wow! Like, you know how he was kind of like bragging at the about, same address. So they're together. I thought he was with Grimes. No, they split up. He better have signed really? that prenup. Yeah. He better have signed that prenup. You know how he was like kind of bragging about that like fifty thousand dollar house that he got like near what I think it was SpaceX or whatever to like kind of like live in what the average like worker or whatever would be living in. Um wow. so he's not like out of touch as like a billionaire. The uh, house, that feels like the most out of touch thing you could do. The house that he listed on his tax forms is a 4.3 million dollar house that's like a couple hours away or something from from that yeah, place but it, that, he can have that's a sneaky homes. link house that's a sneaky neural link house you could have Ooh, multiple i homes. like that what billionaire are you the most attracted to can we you pull up a list of billionaires can we get a list of billionaires to see which one's the we'd want to spank uh, probably <sighs> jenna's pretty cute i don't think she's a billionaire anymore kim k rihanna they're all billionaires now I'm gonna go through Yana. I'm also thinking about LeBron James though, because if somehow we can mix our DNA together, yeah, somehow we can mix our DNA together. I don't want to have sex with him, but I would love to have his physical children. Would you consummate with LeBron James? Totally. All right. At number one, we have Elon Musk at two hundred nineteen billion dollars. Is this smash or pass? Yeah, smash or Um, pass. Pass. Well, okay, we got to take the money out of the equation. Pass. Okay. Smash. Jeff Bezos. Smash. Smash. 171 billion. Bernard Arnault family. Smash. Smash. <laughs> Looks like he can make good pasta or know somebody. Bill Gates. Smash. Smash. Warren Buffett. Smash. Pass. What? Oh. He looks like he's so gentle. Larry Page. Smash. Pass. Sergey Brin. Smash. Smash. Is that the guy that's no. Never mind. I thought is it isn't Salma Hayek smash a billionaire? Smash. He looks like his face has been smashed in there. Oh, damn. Sorry, Larry. <laughs> Steve. Smash. Steve Pass. Ballmer. He, he owns the Clippers. Me. Smash. Uh, Mukesh Ambani. Smash. 100%. 100%. Love the mustache. <laughs> There's nothing like kissing somebody with a nice Bradley. mustache. All right. Michael Bloomberg. Smash. <laughs> Are you just smashing all of these guys? Do you understand what happens if we break up, Jared? That's a pretty big settlement. I know. So I'm smashing all of them. Carlos Slim. Mm, big smash. Also, he looks like he might deal drugs. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. I like that. Smash. Francois Betancourt. Smash. Not because she's a woman, though, because she's a billionaire. Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> smash! Whoa, why were you so vocal about that? Whoa, very vocal. That f- that looks like the lizard photo. You want to go down on the berg? He does look like a lizard. Dude, don't. He's a human being. Be he nice. looks like a lizard. Smash. Okay, so. All right, those were the 15. Yeah, smash all of them. 15 really? 15. He's not. I, I say this like. He's 60, not as rich as I thought he was. Yeah, I say that like 63, 67 billion is not a lot, but 60. Yeah, I thought he was at least in the hundreds. Well, what was it in 2021? 97. He's lost a, a lot of money. Drop off. Who's excited for vacation tomorrow? Us, I guess. Oh, I should tell my story. As long as it's a good one. Go ahead. I've heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine us saying that. Be like, oh, this no, is, we've heard this one. You're good. This is by far the wildest conversation I've ever had with someone on the phone. So I call this hotel. Jared and I are trying to look for the cheapest hotels in San Diego, right? Because we waited to the last minute. That we did. And the hotel that we normally book uh, I looked it up, and at first it was like 660 bucks for a room, which is outrageous. And then the page refreshed itself, and then it said $718. Nice. A night. A night. A night. Um, and then I was like, what the hell? How did it just jump so much? And then it refreshed itself again, and it said no vacancy. So- Imagine spending that much on a room a night. Absolutely. Couldn't be me. Would never be me. Also, not for that hotel. No, not for that hotel. It's a nice hotel, but like- 
but not seven hundred dollars a night. No, 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 no. Um. Anyway, so I give this give this little in a call. It says ninety bucks a night. I'm like, perfect. That's where we're going. It's, I give it's him a got call. four stars out of ten, but that's, that's failing on like any school grade. I mean, if we think about it in the perspective of the other hotels, they only have five. So anyway, continue. So I give them a call. I'm like, hey guys, would love to book a room. And they go, great. Do you want the single or the double? And I was like, what's the price difference? They say $3. And I go, give me the double. I'm living large, right? So I go, great. Can I get the double? They were like, yeah. How many hours would you like to book the room for? You stopped stunned. And you're <laughs> like, uh, I must have misheard I went, they said I, hours. I said, uh, I'd, uh, I'd actually like to book the room for a week. And they went, Oh, um, uh, let me get my manager for a booking that big. Could you imagine <laughs> so calling like a smash hotel? Oh, hundred percent. And then, uh, then I get put on hold and immediately get hung up on. They're like, we're not that kind of hotel. We're for smashing. So. Is that not hilarious? Could you imagine like calling the Hilton or something? And they, how many hours? And they're you're like. Um, what's 24 times seven? You're like, okay, 24, 48, 97, you know. I kind of want to book it though, just to see what's all about. They asked me how many hours would I like the room? How many hours do you think you need? Probably about eight at night. But I mean, if you're actually smashing. We should have asked them like- 30 what, minutes? What the what hourly could, rate you think, was. You probably have to do it by the hour. You just need 30? An hour. Cause like maybe like 30 smash, 30 watch I need 10 and then 50 minutes chill. Smiling like that. You're not built to smile. That couldn't be more hurtful. <laughs> I didn't so, think. Oh, that's probably gosh. one of the worst things I've ever, one's ever said to me. You are not built to smile. Let me write this down in my oh, diary. Is probably one of the most offensive things I've ever heard and something that's going to stick with me forever. I'm going to put that next to you look like a Holocaust victim with your shirt off. And there we go. I'm so sorry, Zach. No, it's not a big deal. It's just something that I made it that way. I just like meant it in the way of like, like I don't smile well. It's not a big deal. Um, but you've said that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone's insecurities, it's always good to reiterate that and make sure You that do that to me all the time. You love pointing out my insecurities. I love pointing out your mustache. That's a difference. <laughs> Did you shave it? He loves doing it. He loves to do it. It's a me, Indiana. <laughs> Come on. Honestly, I think your mustache is endearing because I, I think have those you love could, handles. I think you can make a great piece <laughs> of pizza better. better. Don't you say a thing about his love handles. You can shave your mustache. He can't shave the fat on his body, okay? And I can't smile. So I'm glad we're all just making fun of each other today. You do like to make fun of me. I don't we like all to... make fun of each other. You make fun That's of what my, friendships are my, for. My, my, the hair on my body and the thickness of my thighs sometimes when I clap. <laughs> what? what? I've been getting some chub. Bro. I've never made fun of your thighs in my entire life. Yes, you have. Or or my stomach. You like to grab my little stomach fat. That's Dude, so annoying. That has never happened. Yes, it has. It honestly you has not. Act like you're a saint in this regard, okay? That's what I hate the most. You make fun of me for my relentless positivity, my love handles, my anxiety. I don't actually make, fun of, your my I don't anxiety. Actually make fun of your love handles. Yes, I you make, make fun, fun of the food I make, okay? Go in, Jared. 100% because is... that shit's wild. Yes, yeah, so it's your mustache. We all make fun of each other because that's what friends do. Oh. But then he can act like it's the worst thing he's heard. No, 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 no. I do want to bring this up though because I actually am not going to let this slide. I have never, I've actually said you have great thighs. I have never, no, I've never once made fun of your thighs. What are you talking about? I have also never heard him make Thank fun of your so thighs. Thank you so much. Like I would, I've heard the mustache. I've heard. Uh, I would put my life on it. And you know I haven't. You're just trying to find something to get so people think I'm a bad person. You do love to make fun of me. But I don't make fun of your he thighs. You make fun of me too. No, 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 and no. you make fun of no. me. I make fun of him. No, 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 no. How wait, many wait, times wait. do I compliment your body when you work out? I go, well, Jared, you That's great. That's because you want to have sex with him. him. <laughs> Correct. I also said on the way over here, you were like, you're like, do I look good today? I said, yeah, you look cute. Okay. But you didn't say it. No, no. I had to ask. Because it's Because weird. you were three hours late. No, no, no. Okay, listen. You haven't commented on my haircut, so fuck you too. Oh. What if I think it looks bad? Whoa! What if I didn't think you actually look cute? Whoa! I still gave you a compliment to make you feel good. Take that, thick thighs. 
That's actually the only time I've ever commented on your thighs. And that's because you said I do it. No, I actually think you that dress is very cute. I think the dress you also got the the flowery one that hopefully you bring to San Diego. Cute. I think that's a cute one as well. Really? I think it's a little. <laughs> you, you guys want to get a room here? Because I, I got a number. I got a place they do for by the, the hour. hour. I think it's a little ill fitting around the waist. Don't you think? I what this dress or, or the flower one? I, I never saw it on. You just uh, held it up. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I never saw it on. You're already there and it was <laughs> on. No, no, no. I before we get off of this. I've, you know, I've never made fun of any thickness on your body. First off, you don't have any. So can you please reiterate? Cause that he's also actively, you, cause you've said, you're like, I need to lose weight. And he's like, what weight you like? He's actively said, okay, can you, you please great. say that that okay, was a sure. lie? That was a lie. Don't say sure. Cause it, it makes, you know, that's a lie. I, maybe maybe that one, but I know oh, he's definitely, okay. dude. This he's is, definitely made fun of me before in those regards. No, I said I love your mustache because I. Oh, can't you know grow what else one. he does, which is so annoying when I'm driving. He like likes to play with the fat under my arms, which is so fucked up. I do not. Yes, you do, because I mentioned it, and you went. My mom used to get mad at me when I did that too. But I was I wasn't so doing it because there was fat under the arms. I just I just. <laughs> So I'm bingo, jealous that bingo wings are fun to play I'm with. I'm jealous that you could probably fly if you got enough speed. Okay, I you, that was a joke. You know I don't feel that way. You're literally one of the skinniest persons I've ever met in a healthy way. Dude, we, okay. All right. <laughs> we got some things up to bring group therapy this week. So, okay, you did the love handles thing, all right? And then I said the flying thing. That was terrible. And then you said that guy shouldn't smile ever because it scares people. <laughs> all right. I think it was therapeutic. Do we all get it out? <laughs> that felt good. That, felt, that actually felt you good. You kind of have a bit of a Caesar cut going on. It looks good. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate What's it. What's a Caesar cut? It's the type of haircut he has right now. Going off of uh, the therapeutic uh, <laughs> screaming session that we have, um, this week, I want to introduce a little segment called Tantrum Tuesdays, um, and that's just because I of the think podcast. we just did it. No, I know. I'm I'm leading into the videos that I want to show. This is great. I, I have two videos. <laughs> One uh, is a group of uh, drunk women destroying a that made me viscerally mad. Oh, you saw it? That made me oh, yeah. so Have you seen this? effing mad. Yeah, I saw it. I, I want to play it just Because for... of a damn 25 cent sauce packet. A dollar 75. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a little excessive. Well, yeah, I'm probably doing the same thing. <laughs> we just immediately switch. But I'm going to turn it down because that alarm's annoying, but I'm going to skip through. Look at this. She starts twerking on They're the They're all arrested. Well, yeah, because they did twenty thousand dollars in damage to this place, but they rip off like the little COVID screen or whatever. She Oaks can't hop she over. Did. She cannot hop over that. All right, like if you're gonna wreck a place and leave, you got to be able to leave, you know. And then skip forward. They start, dude. dude that poor employee. I know. Wild, wild stuff. Twenty thousand dollars worth of damage. That's insane. Over a dollar seventy-five. That shit made me. So so sauce. mad like I people like that I actually think should be condemned to hell hot take oh another period no this is poop round two. Ooh, the brown she does got a little bit of thumper dump rock doesn't she look like she could take a thing dump? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why I've always thought that she'd never heard of the term does it feel like you're wiping a marker <laughs> I love that term have you never heard that no I've heard that term yeah I love that she, but, she says every single time that she wipes like it's clean clean you take a hundred percent clean poops every yeah, time. I've never like unless I've got like definite like going, but other than that, I've never had. That's like a, a superpower. Holy shit! Yeah, exactly. What is that like? That's just what is it like for you guys? That's disgusting. So, listen, sometimes sometimes he said I got to get more dude like, wipes, cause. dude. He said it's like a marker. I said what? So you guys poop is. like three times a day. Oh, it's healthy. That's what. Yeah, you're supposed to do that. Once every two days. That's horrible. Didn't poop yesterday, so poop today. That's why you get like a cramp when you have to poop. Yeah, exactly. Because your entire intestine is just full. We don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the second video I want to show is uh, this guy. So he he's a he's the pitcher for the Red Sox that is currently like rehabbing a, a rib injury. So he's pitching like for the minors minor leagues just to like get back into the swing of things. But he has. Uh, what he called in the post game conference, um, like a, uh, a a little bit of a hiccup, right on Wednesday night. 
but this is his reaction Andy, to it. off your phone. This is his reaction to a little bit of a hiccup. <laughs> you can just see him wind up the bat. Absolutely destroys an $1,100 TV and like tries to rip it off the wall. And then just walks back out into the pit like nothing happened. Why did he do that? Because he walked five batters and like had two hits or something like that, which he hasn't done in like months or something, which really isn't. I don't think it's that bad of a game. Like I feel like walking is kind of fairly common. But here's what I want to ask you guys because this went like viral on Twitter and it was kind of divisive between two like two groups of people. There were people that made it uh, that like disgusted them right because they're like why would he behave like that that's so like immature Um, and then there are other people that were saying to the people that were reacting that way that he is a competitor and that if he isn't that passionate about the game that he's playing, that he then he shouldn't be playing it. I think it goes both ways, honestly. Really? I mean, I, I appreciate I appreciate his competitiveness, but um, yeah, if it's not your property, you probably shouldn't destroy it. That's my it. thing. But if he pays for this, you know, let's water under the bridge, and then in the future, maybe yeah. they'll get him like a little room where things he can break and then he could just go like anytime that i've ever like done something like that or been pissed off at myself because of like work was i've definitely destroyed my own property before but i would never go and destroy somebody else's i threw my phone against a wall oh my god that's an expense i know i I don't know what happened it's just illogical you know i know it's so illogical i don't know why i did it i literally was just like so frustrated and mad in the moment, like, cause I was on the phone with somebody. I was, was so it? frustrated and mad in the moment. I just went, ah! I just fucking ditched it at a brick wall and immediately went immediately fucking idiot. Regretted it. Did you, I, yeah. w- did you feel like you're in a movie scene <laughs> for the point two seconds? And then your sure. phone was and the, in there. And then you're like, oh, they don't show in the movie scene. They have to go back to the AT&T store. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I think that also, I think I was more willing to destroy my property because like I had been paying for my own phone since I was like 13 or 14 years old. So I knew I wasn't like disrespecting my parents by doing that. If that makes any sense. It makes was like, no sense. What? That makes no sense. I pay for my phone now. No, I'm not I... going to fucking throw no, it. No, 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 I know, I know, I know. But like when you were a kid, like your parent like bought you your first phone, like obviously cause you couldn't afford it. And like, if I were to have done that to the phone that they bought me, it's like a super disrespectful thing to my parents. But I knew because I had paid for this phone and like, I was like, I think that's how I justified doing it. I was like, this is my phone. I just get sad when you talk about parents and you use plural and they. (laughs) So we all have our demons. Are we done? Thank you guys so much for listening. (laughs) If you think that we are falling apart at the hinges and there's a lot of animosity between us. I didn't even know we had hinges left. Yeah. So don't worry. Um, Toxicity is kind of like water to us. We need it to survive apparently. Tune in next week. uh, See you later. Oh, if you stay till the end. Uh, make sure to DM me um, the very, very best picture of your mom. Jared, we got to go to therapy, you and I. Yeah, I know. Because of me? I know. 100% because of you. Oh. I didn't do my own.